I got started by starting in my own radio show from my bedroom, and I like research online how to like do my own radio show and like book guests and stuff like that. And then slowly and slowly, in my boredom one summer, my show got really, really big and was attracting a lot of people, and a lot of big stars were coming on. And you know, it was just because I was bored and I really wanted to find something that I was interested in, and radio was something that I was really interested in. My first day on air was really awkward. Like, it was a brand new site that I, that I researched to get on, right? And no one knew who I was. There was, like, two people listening. There was, like, haters in the chat room or whatever, and they hated me. And I just, like, I ran it like a real radio station. I wasn't really me. I did, like, I ran it, like, so generic and so, like, stereotypical radio. I wasn't me. And, you know, after a while, I really found who I was as a person, and I found who I was as far as radio goes, too, and a radio personality. My first interview was with Debbie Ryan from The Sweet Life on Deck. Great interview. We talked for a long time. We talked for about 45 minutes on the air, live air, and it was definitely one of the best interviews I've ever done. Getting the call that I got the new show, it was good because I worked really hard to persuade people that I was really, you know, able to, you know, take my show to two hours and to go five days a week. So it was a lot of hard work on my part. So when I got the call, I was just so happy. People should tune in because I'm telling you, just one big conversation and, and I, I get this all the time. People say when they get home from school, it's just such a relief to come home and have fun and to listen and to get, get to talk to one of their favorite celebrities by calling in. 